they're off in the Darley Alcibiades. There goes Brightwork. Alice Beach is there to the inside, then Candy, but Brightwork moves up, has the early lead as they head down into the first turn. It is Brightwork outward from the rail. Alice Beach there to the inside. Candied in third. VV's Dream is close but wide. In fourth, around the first turn. Crazy Cammy saves the ground in fifth down toward the rail. Wine on tap is a bit hard to handle here in the turn. Tries to settle down three wide around the turn. Back in the sixth position. Alpine Princess is seventh up on her outside. And a gap of two more lengths back to Shimmering Allure. Ducked out at the start. Now drops out to last, but right there with the rest as they move off the first turn. Opening quarter, 23.84 seconds. Up the back stretch they go. Alice Beach is the leader, only by three quarters of a length. Bright work, second a length. VV's dream to her outside toward the center of the track and third. Crazy Cammy, long shot, fourth toward the rail. Moves up two lengths off the lead. Wine on tap is fifth on the outside of Candied, who's in sixth, five from the front. And then Alpine Princess shimmering allure to her inside the first half mile, 48.25 seconds. Alice Beach and Bright Work go at it for the lead onto the far turn, still separated by a neck, however. VV's Dream. Now she takes aim and moves up on the far outside as they move midway on the turn. Candied is moving up into fourth, still five from the front. There's a quarter mile to go. VV's Dream swings up on the far outside. Alice Beach is there toward the inside. Candy's going to swing wide. Candied out in the center of the racetrack. Bright Work is right there, a lane off the rail, but Candied rolls on up from the outside of VV's Dream into the Final furlong of the Darley Alcibiades. Candied with the lead from VV's Dream in second. Alice Beach is third. Candied, VV's Dream, one, two, deep stretch. Candied, Luis Saez wins the Darley Alcibiades. VV's Dream was home second, close for third. Alice Beach or Shimmering Allure, one minute, 44.17 seconds. Official winner of Keeneland's featured ninth race, 72nd running of the Darley Alcibiades, Grade 1, win and your end, Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Division, number 3, Candide. Owned by Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners of Aaron Wellman, the trainer Todd Pletcher, the jockey Luis Saez. Candide, a two-year-old filly by Candy Ride out of Tony Tools by Roaring Fever, bred in Kentucky by the Buck Pond Farm, Incorporated of Doug Arnold. One minute, 44.17 seconds for the mile at a 16th over the fast main track. Now the trophy presentation for the Darley Alcibiades, a win and you're in Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Division race. Representing Darley, Rusty Thompson, CFO of Godolphin, presents to the Connections of Candied. Candide remains perfect, two for two in her career as she takes the grade one Darley Alcibiades for the Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners, Todd Pletcher and Luis Saez. And Luis, she did sort of a similar thing as she did on her debut where she was kind of leaning in. Were you prepared for that as you spun for home? Yeah, definitely. She's a filly that she's keep learning and she has she ha a big future. Uh, for the first time when we get on, on her in the morning, we know she was pretty special. And well, today she win this big race, so we're so grateful. And Thanks to Mr. Topper, he, he always doing a great job with the horses and all the team. How easy was it for her to relax going two turns for the first time? Yeah, it was pretty easy. She ran a pretty professional race. Uh, uh, we know kind, you know, the speed they're going to go, and that was the plan to try to follow and, and give it a surprise in the top of the track. Well done. Thank you so much. Todd, what type of young horse, especially two-year-old filly, does it take to go from start one of their career to running against the depth that she did today in the grade one Darcy Al Alcibiades and come out w a winner? Well, that was my biggest concern. I, I, I thought the filly had the talent to do it. I was just concerned about the seasoning and several of the fillies in here that we had to beat today had good solid campaigns and just making her second start. But I tell you, she, she, was, she trained impressively before her debut and then she just kept getting better afterwards and she was finishing her works and galloping out like she wanted more ground and I think like Louis said earlier, he's been pretty high on her since the first day he worked her at Saratoga. So we're happy to see her meet expectations. Congratulations. Thank you. Candied best here today in the grade one Darley Alcibiades for the Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners.